Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video of the game week where we look at which players we need to set up to finish in the top 5%. So I started a series from game week 1 where I said follow these instructions and we're hopefully finishing the top 5%. There are three teams I know have been doing this from the start and they're all within the top 4% so they're doing alright. So let's have a look first at how game week 11 went and then the suggestions for game week 12. And if you've not joined in yet, you'll be able to join in game week 17 because there'll be a wild card so you can completely change your team and just follow this if you want to. Or you might just like enjoy, you might just enjoy watching it, who knows. All right, let's have a look. Game week 11, bankers. We had Ward, James, Martinelli and Harland. Ward's on the bench, James didn't play. Martinelli three, Harland got two. Harland was the captain, so he gets doubled, he gets four points. So the bank has had a very disappointing seven, but that's okay, we still did all right. The keepers, you'll have one of these two keepers, either Ramsdale or Pope. Ramsdale got 10, Pope got six. So they averaged eight points for your keeper. You would have had two of these defenders, Robertson, Cancelo, Perisic or Trippier. And they scored six, two, eight and six. So you'd have, you'd have got at least eight points for these two defenders, at most 14, an average of 11. You should have had three of these midfielders, Anthony, Bowen, Foden, Madison, Saka and Zaha. They scored 3-2-2-2-9-3. Two, 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 it's a pretty rubbish. But that's okay because we're just looking at the season as a whole and we have good weeks and bad weeks. There's not a problem here. We're doing all, we're doing all right. So you'd have got a minimum of six, maximum of 15 according to who you had. On average, you'd have got 10.5 for the three midfielders. The two forwards, you'd have had two of Jesus, Tony, Mitrovic and Solanke. They scored 2, 12, 7, 12. So you'd have got at least 9, at most 24, an average of 16.5 points for your forwards. And on the bench, and you'd have all had some bench players coming in because, of course, James. The order we had on the bench is this. That's Andreas, Justin, Gehu, Williams, Bailey, Fafana and Patterson. And they scored five, six, seven. So the first one on the bench, you'd have had one of those three, I should think. You'd have got an average of six points. And then Williams got two, Bailey two, Fafana and Patterson are both injured. So the minimum, if you'd picked the worst possible team, you'd have got 46 points. Average, you'd have got 72 and a half following this system. Maximum of 98. And I believe the global average was around 46. So people doing this got green arrows. And I did see somebody who I know is following this. They don't always do everything I say, which is fine. It's up to them. And they left Solanke on the bench, which is a shame because he shouldn't have been there and that cost some points. But anyway, still within the top 4%, so that's nice. This is to remind me, because I keep forgetting to say, if you enjoy this sort of thing, please do subscribe. I appreciate the subscribers I've got. 153 so far. And the last video I actually got a dislike. Look at that. Game week 12 transfer. James looks like he's going to be out up until the World Cup and during the World Cup. So we need to get move him on. And I suggest you get one of the defenders we already know about, which is Cancelo, Robertson, Trippier, Perisic, or you could even throw in Tarkovsky. So I'm aware we already have Patterson, but Patterson's on the bench, he's injured. And the chances are if you go for Tarkovsky, you may never play him anyway, apart from this week, because we'd be short of players. So whichever one of those you want that you haven't already got, that's fine. And you can afford them just by one of those defenders. So the bench, all we do every week is we say who's on the bench and the 11, other 11 sort themselves out. This week's a bit strange because I know some of you are going to not be able to field 11 players. But that's OK. It's not worth making wholesale changes. So we're probably going to get a red arrow this week. But that's fine. There'd be lots of managers that don't manage to field 11 players. So... I'm saying Ward on the bench. However, if you have Ramsdale as your keeper, you may as well play Ward because you know Ramsdale's not going to play this week. So I'm going to show you a number of players now. The first one you see that you have, you put into position three on your bench. The second one, position two. And the third one, position one. So as Patterson, if you've got him, he's last on your bench, etc. Fofana, Williams, Tarkovsky, Gay, Justin, Bailey, Andreas. Now the chances are all your bench are going to be playing this week and you'll still be short of players. So in a way for this one week the bench order doesn't actually really matter. But there's a chance that you've picked players such that you won't use your whole bench. 
Right, Captain and Vice Captain. This was a tough one because the main people we like are in Man City and Arsenal and they're not playing. So I've selected seven players. The first player I show you that you have, make your captain. The second player I show you that you have, make your vice captain. And then you can forget the rest. So the order of preference from captain to vice captain to, don't worry about it, is Zaha, Trippier, Solanke, Mitrovic, Tony, and then the keepers, Pope and Ward. So with these, you put on one of these, the captain's hat, the other one, the vice captain hat, the old mule hat to see who's going to get you the double points. And that's going to make scoring next week for me very difficult. So I'm going to have to do an estimate on that. There we have it. That's the instructions for game week 12 of trying to get in the top 5%. And it's going all right at the moment. I'm expecting a red arrow, so you may all fall outside the top 5%. But don't worry about it. We'll be able to make up the ground. No problem. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.